Sydney. Over four and a half million people and more than two and a half million cars. As far as cities go, our air pollution levels are good, better than similar sized cities and better than they were in the 70s and 80s. Backyard incinerators are a thing of the past. Factories, cars and trucks are a lot cleaner now. Pollution levels are pretty low, but from time to time we have problems. So what do we need to know about air quality in Sydney? Some of the pollution is natural from bushfires, dust storms, sea salt and pollen. But man-made sources add to the pollution. Off-road diesel equipment like bulldozers and diggers have high levels of particle pollution. Cars are cleaner now, but there's never been more of them. In winter, particle pollution from wood heaters and vehicles can get trapped close to the ground by cold air. This is often seen as a layer of brown haze. The young, the elderly and those with heart or lung disease are the most sensitive to air pollution. You need a microscope to see the most damaging particles. In large concentrations, they look like a haze. Cars and trucks are also the largest single source of smog-forming pollutants. On hot, sunny days, these pollutants mix together to form ground-level ozone or smog. Some people are quite sensitive to smog and can experience breathlessness and irritation. Sydney's basin shape can trap air pollution. In summer, cool overnight air drains off the hills and moves towards the sea, picking up pollution from vehicles, industry and homes. Morning sea breezes then push it back over urban areas, collecting more pollution and creating smog. This weather pattern can be repeated for days at a time, requiring rain or strong winds to clear the pollution away. Reducing pollution means healthier people and a healthier environment. Managing air pollution is a priority at the New South Wales EPA. Air quality monitoring stations report continuously on air pollution in Sydney, with the information updating hourly on the website. Air pollution affects everyone. What's the air quality like where you are today? To find out, visit epa.nsw.gov.au.